Our next question comes from Jose, who's asked, how would ignition timing tuning work with rotary engines? Okay, great question, because rotary engines understandably work on a completely different operating principle to a piston engine. What we actually find, though, is that the way the rotary engine responds to ignition timing is almost identical to a piston engine. However, there are a couple of caveats there. Uh, first of all, the rotary engine is incredibly intolerant of almost any level of detonation. So we need to be very, very careful when we are tuning. And generally, the safest way of tuning a rotary engine is to be a little conservative with our ignition timing rather than chasing the absolute peak torque value. Fortunately though the rotary engine is also a little bit less sensitive to ignition timing than a piston engine so uh, we don't sort of see the same kind of gains uh, as we advance the timing that we saw during our lesson today. Another aspect with the uh, rotary engine is that they also run a leading and trailing spark plug so that's another subtle aspect there. There is uh, a separate spark timing table uh, in the ECU that defines the what's referred to as the trailing split so how much later the trailing spark plug fires after the leading spark plug. That question was taken from one of our free live lessons. If you like free stuff and you're the type of guy who wants to expand your knowledge, click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about performance engine building and EFI tuning and you'll also have the chance to ask your own questions which I'll be answering live. Remember it's 100% free so follow the link to claim your spot.